Over many years our planet has been inhabited by many different animals. Some of these species have survived todays. But some unfortunately are considered to be extinct due to environment changes, and some other facts. To successfully clone an extinct animal, scientists need to find animal DNA that is almost entirely intact. So some species such as the woolly mammoth and saber-toothed tiger will make better candidates for resurrection than others. So here are top 10 extinct animals that will be resurrected soon. Before we begin make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. Woolly Mammoths These large elephant-like creatures were last found on Rangel Island before their extinction some 4,000 years ago, and these ancient animals coming back to life, and not mention mammoths in the end. When people think about extinct species, these fluffy elephants come to mind first the remains of these ancient giants are found quite often, and in fairly good condition. So there is hope researchers will soon get the right genetic material several laboratories in different countries of the world are trying to isolate mammoth DNA, most likely the source of DNA for cloning will be the wall of these prehistoric animals, while the female African elephant will be suitable for the future mother for the first mammoths. The last 20 years researchers have been preparing a house for this beast restoring the vegetative diversity of the mammoth steps by the way. The extinction of mammoths also caused the disappearance of different plants in the north of a planet, and scientists hope that with the return of the ancient animals. Tasmanian Tiger The Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine, was largely wiped out after farmers blamed it for killing sheep, and the last known one died in captivity in 1936. Some Australians still believe there are a few alive in the wild, and they might not need to keep the faith much longer. Scientists are actively working on resurrecting the marsupial. They hope to combine DNA from a preserved thylacine joey, or pup, with the numbered, although the experiment will be difficult, because they aren't as closely related as, say, an elephant and a mammoth. Ground Sloth when you looking at the bones of this creature you might think that it's some prehistoric bear. But it actually is a sloth a very big sloth these creatures can reach a height of 6 meters and died out not so long ago about 8000 years. The last ground sloths lived in South America and the natives often fought them most likely was because of hunters that this species ceased to exist. Sloths moves too slowly and couldn't hide somewhere in a tree and therefore were an easy prey. But today scientists have a huge amount of remains of these creatures including bones and skin, and although it's not easy to extract DNA from them, it is still possible the only problem is its relatives modern sloths females small to be the mums of these giants. However in the future scientists for certain will find out a solution. Dodo this dodo bird known to many from the book Alice in Wonderland, lived only in one place on earth the island of Mauritius located east of Madagascar in 1598. It was discovered and described by a Dutch expedition, and by 1660 to the dodo practically disappeared no ice age, no problems with the environment. The thing is, that these birds couldn't fly at all, because they didn't have any enemies in their natural habitat. The funny looking dodos became an easy prey for sailors and soon disappeared completely. Later they became a symbol of the Gerald Wildlife Conservation Trust. A dodo statue can be seen at the entrance of their wildlife park fortunately at the disposal of scientists. Today there are skeletons of these birds which means that hopefully they will return. Irish Elk this Irish elk of Thranduil from the Hobbit's well, or a deer people on the internet, don't know for sure which kind of animal this mysterious beast is, however the name is not as important as the fact that scientists will soon return these amazing animals to our planet well maybe meet the Irish deer an extinct clovenhoofed mammal from the genus of the giant deer who once existed on earth yes this isn't a product of the fantasy of peter jackson and his animators but a real beast albeit extinct the irish deer stands out for its large size and huge horns which could reach four meters in scope needless to say with such a luxurious design on the head the deer simply couldn't live among the trees and therefore became extinct when the forests began to expand to open spaces fortunately for scientists it's not difficult to find the remains of this giant just like its great grandsons the fallow deer all this makes the irish deer one of the first applicants in the queue for resurrection gastric brooding frog 
The gastric brooding frogs or platypus frogs were a genus of ground-dwelling frogs native to Queensland in eastern Australia. This extinct animal back to life it must be cloned, and for this scientists need to find the most intact DNA. Therefore, those species that disappeared not so long ago have an advantage for example the gastric brooding frog. This species of amphibians was known for the fact that the mother hatched the eggs inside her stomach until the frogs themselves jumped out from her mouth some sort of weird kangaroo. Unfortunately for unknown reasons gastric brooding frogs were extinct in the mid 1980s. Some blame the bad ecology in the area and others point to natural causes within the population one likely to find out what exactly happened to the gastric brooding frog. But in the 70s scientists froze samples of their tissues, which are now being used to resurrect the animal and we can say that they have had some success by creating several embryos, although it's too early to speak about the return of this unusual frog. Oroches. Oroches is a wild bull the progenitor of all species of modern cattle inhabited the forest and steppes of the eastern hemisphere. A long time ago sadly it was declared extinct in 1627, all due to the destruction of his natural habitat and constant hunting despite the fact that this animal hasn't existed for almost 400 years. The DNA structure of its descendants is considered similar to the genetic basis of the ancestor. There were attempts to bring back this giant bull to life in Germany in the 1920s and 30s, and as a result a breed called Heck cattle was born nevertheless Heck castle were less similar to an Auroch than many modern breeds of cows, and therefore a new project to revive the species appeared in the Netherlands. The Auroch program scientists cross primitive breeds of European cattle among themselves trying to get an animal that in its appearance size and behavior will be similar to an Auroch. Another project is being implemented in Poland scientists from the Polish Association for the Reproduction of Auroch's intend to use the DNA preserved in bones from archaeological finds for cloning in general. Woolly Rhinoceros the woolly rhinoceros is an extinct species of rhinoceros that was common throughout Europe and northern Asia during the Pleistocene epoch and survived the last glacial period. The woolly rhinoceros is roamed in the Arctic snow 10,000 years ago. Thanks to their thick fur they felt good even in severe frosts. But they couldn't survive climate change and the encounters with other animals. Ancient people also were a problem to the woolly rhinos and as a result. These unusual animals died out, but their remains are perfectly preserved which means that scientists can fully isolate their DNA. It's only a matter of time and money rally in the modern Sumatran rhinoceros. The closest relative will most likely become the bearer of the embryo of the woolly giant. Saber-toothed cat. Saber-toothed cat or tiger to be honest, when you see the impressive fangs. At this ancient feline you begin to wonder whether it's worth returning this species at all. However for scientists saber-toothed cats are reliable candidates for resurrection. First they died out relatively recently about 11,000 years ago, and secondly their fossils are well preserved. Thanks to the frosty habitat and the most important argument is that they are just great jokes aside, saber-toothed cats are considered one of the most interesting species that ever existed on the planet. Although probably our ancestors wouldn't have understood our interest in the ancient world. Neanderthal The ancient people extinct about 40,000 years ago can return to our planet. The project for the revival of in the end, the fall is perhaps the most interesting it is quite controversial from the ethical point of view. But it has already been proved that the Neanderthal man is not the ancestor of modern sapiens. So geneticists literally have a chance to give birth to a new intelligent being. However according to scientists such an incredible scientific study is possible only theoretically we have no suitable equipment and all the skills to do it not yet at least. But German scientists from the Maximum Planck Institute are gonna start working on a miniature Neanderthal brain. This of course doesn't mean that the result in the literal sense of the word will look like a brain scientist's plan. To implant the end earth, all genes in the human genome and all this will occur inside the stem cell. The experiment may seem strange, but it will allow geneticists to find out the differences between the thinking processes of the Neanderthals and the Cro-Magnons who knows maybe this will bring us closer to cloning our ancestors. If you like my video, don't forget like and subscribe my channel, let us comments below.